I love how everybody, it, it, I think it takes people a minute to process like, wait, what is happening? <laughs> wait, what card is that? I've never seen that. So no, you're not seeing things. This is a deck inspired by the Worgen Rhodey. You probably forgot this card existed. It's a neutral card that summons a 0-3 instrument case for your opponent. And I thought, hmm, it'd be really fun if we filled up the opponent's board with all of these instrument cases using all of the various bounce cards available in Rogue. So you've got stuff like Shadow Step and Breakdance and of course the new legendary spell, bounce around to keep replaying these Worgen Roadies and hopefully, you know, getting up to seven instrument cases on your opponent's side of the board. You don't necessarily need seven, sometimes just locking them down to a few uh, spots on board can be enough to pull out a victory. And uh, that's exactly what you're gonna see in this video. We did not, I'll warn you now, achieve the full seven instrument case dream, but we got very close and uh, still used this as a win condition, limiting our opponent's plays and really locking down how much pressure and how many minions they could put into play successfully. But I also wanna warn you, this deck sucks. This is not good. This is very unreliable. Uh, you spend so much time and so many cards just doing these cheesy things that don't actually advance a game plan at all. So I've selected a few wins here, but that was from amongst many, many losses. I don't recommend anyone play this unless you absolutely just want to see the memes unfold. This is more about entertainment value than uh, serving up a, a useful deck for you. So I hope you enjoy some shenanigans here on the back of the Worgen Rody Rogue. Uh, yeah, let's go for Rogue. Cody, synergy plays. I don't hate the prep. Prep has a lot of interesting utility, but if I can find some shadow steps and stuff, we'll be off to the races. Yeah, I need I need a big hunter, yeah. I need a big hunter. With no early game. No early game. Did you hear me? You didn't hear me. Uh, just plays you with the warrior. I BM'd you a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think I'll put that game on YouTube, by the way. That was a really fun game. I think that one will probably make it. Assuming this deck makes it on YouTube, which currently, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They love a little fiddle. But yeah, GG, dude, that was a fun game. Uh, boy, we're way behind. You have a YouTube, dude? Uh, no, I don't have a YouTube, dude. I do it all myself. I don't have a dude who does my YouTube. <laughs> I don't possess a YouTube dude, no. Uh, hey, Soul Kaiser, thanks for the gifted sub, dude. That's really nice. Right my trap. Uh, Coin Minstrel worth it. Morgan Rody seems really risky right now. Uh, we are behind, man. Not like crazy damage output yet, but we're we're definitely behind though. Posic next turn just feels so weird. Doesn't feel good yet. Really, really just want break dances early, I think. Yeah, at least this thing got dies. That's kind of nice. This is a big beast hunter, by the way, I think, but they just have too many small stuffs. They got plenty of small cards, which is what we can't afford. I mean, Posic with no coin is... <sighs> it's fine. Hey, you. Install me for me. It's just not great, you know? Not great. Hey, Babyface thanks to the tier one. That's really nice. Glad Hanar is back. Yeah, Hanar's felt cool today already. We've had some great moments with Hanar already. I always liked Hanar in Thief decks in particular, so having Tess in here is pretty cool. Okay, maybe just gonna ignore this. I think that's often the right decision. Just don't be able to, you know, go face. I don't have a way to punish that either, so. It's gonna work great for them, I think. What do I think about Dr. Doom being back? Um, or Dr. Boom, excuse me. My God, Marvel Snap leakage. I don't think a lot about it. I don't think he's gonna be like good or anything. I think he'll still be really slow and stuff. But it's cool. I like I like the character a lot, so I think I'm okay with it. I want to use this on this again, right? So I think we wait. Fourteen is 
I mean, 14's a lot of damage. Hero powers alone at this stage are going to kill me soon. I don't have any life gain, really. Nor do I want to add any. I don't think it'd be right, but... You know, I, I it occurs to me we could definitely tweak this and take out the thief package and probably improve our deck a little bit, but... I don't know, man. Do I really want to? Audio bot. Oh, Malcolm's a low roll, at least. Okay. That's kind of chill. That feels like a deck construction weakness a little bit, doesn't it? Sabres with k 9 and Amalgams? Doesn't seem like a perfect synergy, does it? So this is honestly a decent turn. Like, we're gonna stabilize the board a little bit here. I mean, just a little though, not a ton. I want to play a one drop off this. Your power is not good. Yeah, I'm just going to play the one drop. I think getting a little board ba board back is really valuable here. So next turn, we can put two more of these out. Um, that's four. They have three spots remaining at that stage. Saver, value trade, k 9 tron Okay, so one of these trades in. Hey, Salt Gobbler, dude, with the five gifted subs. Thank you, Salt Gobbler. It's really nice, man. Oh, dang, dude. Okay. So they have two spots left kind of risky to play this technically because i'm out of roadies uh if they clear both of these i don't have any more roadies but i don't know man i also might prevent them from doing something cool this turn i mean they can obviously trade in to make space but we're just going for it the three fours alone here have a lot of value and just occupying five spots might have a lot of value too i just gotta stay alive to the hero power in the meantime man i don't know or whatever weapons or you know Whatever it is. <gasps> Zola! Oh my god. Am I ever gonna win fast enough is the problem. <laughs> like, I'm just dead <laughs> to so much stuff. Uh... I have a real question here. Do I leave the one two alive or do I kill it? I guess, I guess either way they can trade it in and like play a king crush, right? So I guess I kill it. Oh, blood boil, <laughs> dude. I don't know if it's good because it clears the cases, but I have to heal. I don't have a choice. It's good for at least a turn. It's don't play King Crush. Oh, that's not a King Crush. Okay. Um. I mean, I just have to, right? There's no question. I just have to. I guess the one question I have is, do I kill the King, do I kill the uh, the Savannah Highman or not? I'm healing for 14, I go to 18, they'd have nine damage showing. I kind of think I go face, how much damage am I dealing? Nine, 11, plus hero power is 12, that's 24 over two turns. It doesn't actually set up a two turn lethal. <sighs> it doesn't set up a two turn lethal, man. It's the only problem. I need a little more. Does this draw anything? I don't have any taunt minions, do I? know. Plagiarize could maybe set me up for a lethal. Okay, Blood Boil is an insane result, really. Bounce around's not actually it right now. This is a minion, so I'm hoping it sets me up for lethal. I don't know, man. This doesn't overheal at all. <clears throat> um, so I have 9, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I still don't have a lethal setup. I am gonna heal a ton again though. Hopefully that's enough to at least make this a game. Strangle Horn and Heart getting <laughs> traded out again. This can trade in, but the, the death rattle means they can't play anything even if they trade it off, right? <clears throat> So, I mean, at this stage, oh, oh no, these are gonna die. So I guess this doesn't really make sense. 
Um, any lethal outs on Nourish? No. I don't have any way to overheal this or anything, right? No. I think... Uh, I think... Look at me. Swashbuckler is my best bet at this stage, right? Trade for a weapon. That's a good idea, too. Kill for a weapon. I give up two, though, to do that. Am I going to net enough usually? Not really, right? Not really. Could have traded this in to net a little more, maybe, but... <gasps> oh, no, dude. No, why did I attack first? No! <laughs> no! Um... Okay, I think this is still fine. Like, we're still just gonna have a huge board advantage, right? Okay, and a full health. Ooh, Flame Reaper will set up lethal. Nice, yeah, okay, cool. That should be fine. I guess even the Power of the Wild wasn't gonna be lethal, was it? Because I only missed two damage. Yeah, it's probably fine. Oh, this is nice too. Dang, dude, look at this. Dang, dude. Crazy that we actually managed to recover a little bit here, man. That blood boil was so clutch. Just a bunch of monkeys. Uh, Flame Reaper, though, dude. Flame Reaper the monkeys, man. I don't even know if we need it. Yeah, we don't need it, but it's gonna be so funny. Yeah, what a crazy game, dude. Okay, okay. We got our own barrel of monkeys. Definitely got to get lethal with a roadie, right? Yes, dude. Yes. So we didn't get the full lockout we dreamed of, but it did more than enough, right? It actually mattered. Just really, I mean, functionally, we locked them out enough that it made a huge difference. The blood boil clutched it though, dude. This is a great opener. This is perfect. Really good. Breakdance, I think, is our best bounce for this guy because we don't sacrifice too much tempo. Now, is mage the right class is the question. I don't know. We'll have to see. Burglar on one's awesome. Okay. Ooh. Ultimo. All right, that's kind of slow. I dig it. Hero power is fine. So it's probably our final game of the stack. So there's a lot of pressure here to do something amazing. <laughs> I gotta move on after this. A lot of pressure here to be good. Uh, do we go for the break dance this turn? I guess it depends on whether they have a board or not. <sighs> no board. I mean, I still do like it into coin because then I can do the same thing next turn. I can go Oregon Roadie break dance and still get a pretty good board. So I, I think we will. If it was a real baller, I'd leave it out. But I'm not a real baller. I'm scared. But I like getting a 3-4 down here. So next turn, same story. And then we've got Zola as well for later. I love how everybody... It, it, I think it takes people a minute to process. Like, wait, what is happening? <laughs> wait, what card is that? I've never seen that. I think that's, that's, a, that's an adventure card or something. Thoughts on Shaman? I, I I think Overload Shaman felt surprisingly good in theory crafting, but again, another deck that probably benefited from really unrefined theory crafting lists. Okay, this is fine. Maxitude Naga Mage so far. Light show, yeah, okay. That's one reason we don't leave our guy out. All face! Wow. No fear, man. Okay, so currently out of bounces. But, you know, putting in some work. Winning the board. I mean, we got Zola, but she's expensive. Let's let's say for the next couple turns out of bounces. Let's let's put it that way. Ultimore is actually going to get fairly infused off of this little stuff. It's kind of cool. Okay, solid alibi. Oh, wow. Okay, solid alibi. Huh. It's a little early, but I don't mind. Oh, Shadow Step! It's insane! Okay. 
<laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. We're gonna keep this one in hand. Um because I wanna be able to play it with Zola next turn. Not gonna play another cycle, but be able to play it with Zola and still have stuff to do, basically. Spell to cast from my deck for eight mana. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> I need an eight mana shadow step, man. It could be worth it, I guess. Some some point, some argument. Gone fishing is a good little fill. Do we like um, hero power better? I wonder. I don't really think I do. I think I need to get stuff going. Plagiarize also seems a little weak. Hero power is just not that interesting. Mixtape. Um. Nah, cheat death is more more valuable for us probably. Yeah, Huntsman is uh, actually almost second infused, or first infused, I guess. Second stage. So we got four of these on board. I wonder if they have any... Oh, that takes up space too! Dang, okay. We're getting, we're getting there, team. <laughs> we're getting there. This ain't bad. Probably technically correct to uh, Ultimore here. Oh, I can't clear stuff. Yeah, I might actually be right to Ultimore. I don't have, I, don't, I can't clear enough dudes. Yeah, I think Ultimore is fine. Two companions is pretty chill. A Huffer would be really chill. No Huffer. Still fine. Still keeps them busy, I think. It's the goal. Prismatic. I need a little bit of stuff left on board to, to trade in and clear it off, right? For the next Worgen Roadie cycle. But I also need uh, enough of these to die so that I can cheat death the Roadie. So I got kind of a dual, <laughs> dual problem to solve here. Mage secret, okay. Does that matter, the mage secret at all? Do we care about a mage secret in any, in any way? Let me just hero power attack this. Counterspell objection, I guess, kind of matters, yeah. Test counterspell with this, maybe? I don't know, I want these to die for the cheat death, but they're just not dying right now. Uh, let's start here and see what happens. Not counterspell, okay. I think I'm gonna throw away a minstrel, guys. Oh, that's too much mana of a hero power, though. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, let's just see. Okay, are we hero powering or are we not? So I attacked very wrong. If I don't hero power, I attacked very wrong. Um... Yeah, I think actually we don't care. Let's run a roof over this place. The chase is on. This is still kind of okay. So five on board. I don't have any more roadies in hand, but we have one more in deck, of course. If they kill the roadie first, I have a cheat death as well, which is pretty cool. Um so that's fun. They have five instrument cases and one location. The location's gonna clear here in a minute, so they can like trade in and then location and then go from there. Another secret. Is that from anything we know? That's from vast wisdom, so I don't think we know much about what that means, do we? Okay. So the roadie currently alive. Infinitized finale, sure. Spell the cast shadow step, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's the play. <laughs> That's the play. Does Tess have anything good? We haven't really done anything with Tess, have we? It seems like she's done nothing. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna shadow step. I'm taking the eight mana shadow step, man. Oh, ice barrier. Okay. Oh, I just missed damage. Whoops. Forgot that was a Leoc. Either one of these is a great shadow step target. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, I mean, 
it's kind of a waste, but what else am I going to do? Like, I can boon and plagiarize, and that's fine. But, uh, yeah, bounce around, too, would be great, too. You know what I mean? Like, whatever we get, right? Whatever we get, just something useful. Bounce around's awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I cannot believe that was actually a good play, by the way. It's so insane to think that that was a good play. <laughs> eight man a shadow step line. All right, so they're up to six uh, instrument cases on board. Solid alibi again, sure. The problem is, of course, you know, Mage maybe doesn't care about this, right? They might just be like, oh, shoot, I just cast a bunch of spells. Screw you, you know? So this is breaking the finale chain here with three mana left. Maybe grab a secret. Um, okay. That's gonna give me the cheat death on the huffer. Which isn't bad actually for damage later. That's kinda chill. Since we're getting close to killing them now. Oh no, I forgot about the volcano Mancy! No, it's all minions, not enemy minions. Oh, clutch for them. That's actually insane for them. Oh, uh, this is really good too though. Um, I think we wait on the Huffer here, don't we? Still worth buffing these up. Nothing else is more damage other than the Bone Glaive, but that's fine this turn in particular. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Just keep them under pressure for now. I'm gonna wait on this one, because, I don't know, I don't want it to die, right? It's It's pretty valuable as an actual attacking thing at, at six so we'll never really know how much the uh instrument cases you know really hurt them i guess is that a top deck oh i guess not it looks like that came from the right it's another solid alibi unfortunately i think this is going to be the most hated thing of this uh cycle of the meta solid alibi uh looping forever basically just extra extra copies all the time we're going to get our own solid alibi and well, hand size is going to give me only two things. Savara solid alibi. Not bad though. I think I'll take it. Mm, do we know what this is? We still know what this is. Explosive runes maybe? Yeah. All right. Did I do that order right? It doesn't matter, does it? it? Doesn't matter. Okay. I don't even know why I saw it alibi. I just had mana, and I don't think it matters. It could matter, but it's going in the Savara and the test pool is my thought. So, hopefully, either way, it's okay. So this is six and two, but we have six and five next turns for eleven. So usually that would be lethal, assuming nothing else here. Uh, okay, that could definitely be an ice barrier. Doesn't seem like it matters. Okay, cool, we love it. Super fun. Plagiarize will go in my Savara now. It's the only spell I have left, so probably worth it. Uh, could be a counter spell, of course, but nothing I can do about that. Counterspell, yeah. Okay. Does that still activate this? No, it has to resolve. Okay, good to know. <sighs> um. Alright. Do we test here? Does test have anything that screws me? Like, solid alibi is great. That's awesome. But does she have anything that screws me? Like, an AoE we cast or anything? I don't think so, right? We haven't really played that many things from other classes. I could greed her, too, if I don't feel like I need to use her right now, I guess, is another argument. Um, well, can I mean, see something they played, not me. I'm going to do it, I think. Oh, okay. That's also fine. Okay. This is actually more valuable than Tess, I think. Although, yeah, debatable. I don't think she had much, though. I think she had, like, Solid Alibi and... 
maybe that's it i don't know if she had anything else what else did she have um i guess the druid spell we got that big druid spell these weapons of course but that's not really important because we're going to be just using whatever weapon we want here so um as long as that's not objection or oh that's from savara right so uh which one was savara what was it from savara Is it barrier? Time to wash away the filth. Objection. Okay, that's what I thought and hoped. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cool. Nice. Okay. That's a good win, man. I don't know if I can really say that the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it made a difference with the instruments or not, but maybe might have altered their plays a little bit, right? <laughs> Probably not a ton. Okay, warrior might actually be a good opportunity for the worgen roadie. Oh, that's a hand. Oh, that's a hand. Okay. That is a monster hand, dude. Whew. Oh my god, it's the dream hand. Oh, I needed to stay alive. Yeah, we have to hope there's no brawl. I'm hoping it's like a minion based, uh, you know, menagerie deck or something. The, 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 it appears to be the, the real problem is how on earth are we going to keep up like clearing stuff? Break dances are okay in that regard, but not great. Um, can't kill this with two weapon swings, so I think we wait. Like, how early do I go on the roadies? I can probably leave one out just to, to farm the 3-4 tempo. Like, I need I need the 3-4, basically, is my thought. <laughs> hey, Trimudis, man, what's up? Yeah, I don't know what happened, man. <laughs> Weird, everybody's live. I wonder why. Could be a launch day, uh... Who knows? Could be something cool happening in Hearthstone. Who knows? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put out one roadie now. I, I don't shouldn't really need to bounce two. I mean bounce around could allow that, I guess, but just having the three four on board feels feels valuable. Since we have both in hand, I have the luxury to do this. So I have three more roadies in hand, basically. That's gonna get us at four cases. By the way, the opponent's um, card back is like really tripping me out, man. Oh, I don't like that they have shield block. This is probably more of a defensive deck. Uh, I think these will just die. I was really hoping it was more of a menagerie list, you know? But it appears that it's more uh, like they're going to have brawls and stuff. Shield block Rockstar is is not menagerie, I don't think. I mean, it could be, but it, it seems far less likely. Okay, I mean, we'll just do it anyway and hope for the best. I mean, we've got test thievery backups, you know. We'll try. Uh, all my old legendaries that left have a level requirement to play. I think you have to level up to unlock core set legendaries, right? Or something? I, I don't know. Does that sound right? Isn't that how it used to be? Oh, block rock and roll does make me think maybe a little bit more uh now i'm actually starting to think the other way again i have to keep one of these in hand right always okay i need shadow step shadow of demise break dance or bounce around Shield block again, okay. Uh, Bash, see that's the sort of card they can use on their own cases, yeah. That's what we don't want to see really. And I wish I'd save that secret for Hanar now, since I have literally nothing else to do. Uh, shield block? Okay. Uh, black rock and roll is just not useful enough for me, I need cards. Break dance is good, yeah, okay. Um. 
All right. Let's wait. So that's four, five instrument cases. I hope to God they don't have a brawl, you know? Oh, Kodai drum kit. No! Everybody has answers to these, man. Uh, I won't, it won't deter me though. I just need one opponent to not have it, you know? That's all. I am gonna get a lot of weapons out of this, I guess. That's kind of cool. In theory. In theory. hand is actually a little bit uh a little bit clogged though with three weapons incoming i guess i just play out a security huh it's fine since we know this is probably always clearing anyway um is there any reason to or not to hit these i don't think there's any real advantage but i am gonna want some weapons soon so let's hit face the ability to play weapons that is oh crap we lose okay we are the exact deck he wanted right because we're giving him all the time of the world to uh oh he didn't actually clear them that's only a two right now oh thank god i didn't hit them in that case uh he's gonna wait yeah that makes more sense uh if only we had an mc blingtron right now man I just have no win conditions at this stage, right? There's just nothing of interest here. He's going to wipe the cases. He's going to start playing gigantic threats every turn. He's at 35 health, so there's no, like, face damage line for me. Secrets don't win. I just don't see this ever approaching any sort of, of, of positive outcome for me. I don't think there's enough twisting nethers in the world off swash burglars and tesses and stuff to win, you know? My board basically gets wiped here. Posic might live to hit, but you know, as soon as a, a big uh whatchamacallit comes down, we're just screwed basically. Uh hey Whizbang, it takes the prime sub, and Coop Tato with the 10 months, man. Visage. It's not a crazy idea. Visage for from mage. Try to get him to take a bunch off visage. I like that. That's an out. Free to see look beautiful today. Thanks, eggs with legs. It's nice. I didn't get a chance to really dry my hair much, so it started out a little wetter today, which probably makes it look a little slicker. Uh, instead of like big and bushy, it's probably more tight and, and slick because I didn't get to dry it enough. I was super late today. Okay. That's an interesting strategy. Like, oh, well, no, it makes sense. He didn't want to give me... Well, yeah, yeah, he, that that's right, actually. Isn't it? Not that interesting, in fact. Um. Okay. Uh, cast spells while equipped. Sadly, I don't really have a lot of those, but that might be good. Can I just go face enough, man? I really doubt it. It sure doesn't feel like I can. I'm going to build a board this turn, though, so that if they want to make stuff that hopefully we can punish with bodies, you know, like hopefully no trench stalker. But four minions is really good against trench stalker because I might live. Oh, I might live anyway because I oh no, I'm at 33 and now it's 34 health, 34 attack trench stalker if he, if he got it fully buffed. Um, So we'd be dead if it hit phase. But four minions means it might hit hit minions instead. Well, I mean, even three minions does that, but it increases the odds, let's say. There's the brawl we were worried about. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure. All right. Oh, True Silver again. Dang, dude. Oh, Glaive Tar. Cool. Oh, that's that's big. That's large. Oh, God. Oh, God. Those are all big. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Those are all big. Seven damage? Dang, dude. I feel like we'd be so close to lethal in a lot of scenarios here, but... Uh, not, not at the moment. But I never took the truth. <gasps> oh my god, the prophecies are true. The prophecies are true, dude. All 
of you. <laughs> the prophecies are true. <laughs> oh my god, don't armor up, bro. What? Going for he's going for he's going he's going for the big guy. He's going for the trench stalker. I don't even know how it works. Do we tie? Do I lose? Because I die first? Trish Stalker, we might die. I was hoping to set up the 12 to kill me. I was hoping he would just hit face for 12. Trish Stalker, I feel like we might lose, right? Because I don't... Okay. Oh, that's a problem. Uh... If only it copied the stats. My hand is already packed. Uh, is visage after when? I don't know actually. Somebody look up the card text real quick. I, oh, I can look it up. It's right here. After an enemy minute. Yeah, I think I think I would still lose, right? Um, does Tess do anything interesting? Does Zola? Oh, Zola actually does something kind of interesting. Wow, that's kind of sick actually. It does make the visage a lot worse, but maybe I'm alive, right? That that kind of fixes a lot of problems. Being alive feels good. Do we clean up uh, small minions here? It helps me to have four alive, but this would still trade in for the uh, trench stalker. Mm, so I just go face more five and three. Mm. I can't really fix the visage problem, so I, I think I go face. I'm not really sure though. There's some logic I'm sure to trading, but there's also logic to going face. So I'm, I'm not sure. The three two dies in particular to the explosive trap, so that's maybe the least interesting one to hit if I really think about it. Maybe the one three would be better. Yeah, sadly the one three is a little better. Um, this does mean though that I'm still alive to a trench stalker sometimes, which is really the goal. I have the second visage in hand, so that's that's actually fine. Um, Trench Stalker? Going for it? Oh, just Brawl. Oh, that's pretty good again. Dang. They're playing less minions than I expected, huh? Okay. Do we, we won? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I don't think I got an answer to that guy. Oh man, if only I could have bounced around again. Um, does Tess have anything in here that answers this? Bunch of weapons. Visage goes up again, but that I think we well actually visage might be lethal. Hold up. Do I just do I just play a visage this turn and not Tess? I guess is another question. I would still lose to Trench Stalker. Tess gives me five armor. That doesn't beat a Trench Stalker because I only go to 33. Then I have two armor cards from Tess. Planned? You might remember. Tess does not have Freezing Trap. No, I wouldn't want her to though. I actually really like Visage here. I don't know, man. I'll just go well played and and he knows it's I don't know I don't know I'm the well played might be BM I'm trying to make him think I think it's over but I don't know it's kind of BM isn't it it's kind of BM I don't know I think um I think no matter what Trench Stalker is lethal because Visage is after he doesn't know this is a visage though. This is random off the uh, Hanar. If I play Tess, he knows it's visage. So I think this is the right gambit to play here. This is just a randomly generated secret. He may think there's no way he got two visages, right? <clears throat> Since this is an unknown entity, I like this play a little bit better. Maybe we better take that again. Was Hanar secretly added after this update? <clears throat> it wasn't a secret. I mean, they, they announced it. 
Yeah, trench stalker was still lethal. I think Tess only put us to 33, so I, I don't think she solved the trench stalker problem. He did he top like that, by the way. It looked like he came off the right. Am I crazy? Finally got it. Okay, Druid. That could be fun. Does Druid care about minion spaces? Sometimes, maybe, yeah. Do we hard mulligan for a roadie or not? I don't know. We got a secret package instead. I realized I ran only the old secrets. I, I didn't really do that by design. Uh, I definitely did want cheat death and plagiarize because they fit the game plan really well. I don't necessarily need ambush, but it seems good. Uh, I guess the new secrets aren't great. I like sticky situation okay, I suppose. This sex seems fun? So far, yeah. Good? No. Fun? Yes. Harmonic mood early for armor. We don't really care about armor. We're hoping to win this via lockdown, so... Armor is not especially relevant to us. More worried about attack. I don't want to die. Especially because they can attack... Like, if they get their hero power big enough, it doesn't really matter if their board is locked down, right? They can just punch us. <laughs> Once again, I feel like we're exploring a lot of the weaknesses of this deck, aren't we? It's becoming clear to me how weak this deck is sometimes. Um, is it too early for Hanar? Yeah, I think so. Let's go Pazic for here, just to get some tempo. Um, it's a good time to play Pazic on Curve, because they can probably only get 1-3-3 three, three reliably here. It's not causing any hand disruption, obviously, but it's okay. Alright, they decide not to respect the 3-3s three, early. Okay, sure. There are no longer any, uh, Paladin secrets, right? So Hanar is no longer good on five. It's not his moment to shine any longer. I just hit face with Pazic and go again. There's only a spot for one three, three though. So how does it work? Um, if I have multiple Pazics, is each one connected to the specific bots or does each POSIC identify all bots add two and summon them i have a feeling if i bounce this these bots will not work with a new POSIC, right that's that's how i'm hearing it anyway i hate to use all of my uh morgan roadie cards already though i feel like we're just not doing much here Oh, maybe this lives. I'm not really sure. We can also just break dance it if we want. Get it for later. Not sure the right answer. A 1 4 break dancer doesn't seem especially useful, but I do think a Shadow Jeweler Hanar is useful. There's an audio bot times two. Okay. Ozic has already connected for potentially 10 damage, though, which is kind of nice. Oh yeah, we get the bot, so that's funny, actually, yeah. That was not part of the plan, but I like it. I, I do enjoy that, that's funny. Uh, okay. Guess I'm just gonna keep going face for lack of anything more interesting to do. This was not the plan to smork them with Pazic, but uh, it's happening. That's what's going on. So these are not, uh, these are just neutral, so nothing for Tess or anything. Counterspell will be on Tess. Next turn, we can do this and get another two mana secret, which is really nice. One and two and three and the metronome! We gave them actual mechs. That's funny. Oh, if he summoned the copies from my hand? Oh, interesting. I don't think so. Plagiarize would not. Yeah, these are... It does say copies. I don't know if they would be enchanted with the Posic enchantment or not, but that would be kind of cool to think about, man. What a fun idea to consider. I don't think that would be very good either. Wow, going for the value trade and leaving 11 damage on board against a rogue. Gosh, so many rogues could punish this so hard. I, I unfortunately don't think I'm one of them, but so many could. Um, I wouldn't think I would have just traded those 3-3 three, three straight through, right? I guess we're going to go face again, guys. I don't love it. Freezing trap is not bad, maybe. 
disrupt some trades and stuff. We've got the counter spell, of course. So these are both good test cards as well, thankfully. Explosive Ruins is potential damage. Cheat Death plays to our Warg and Rhodey game plan, but that's not really how this game's unfolding, so I don't think that's the plan. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Let's see. We got one more turn, and then the, the dudes come up. The uh, Rhythm and Roots dudes, maybe, anyway. I guess he could have taken 8-8s. I don't know. Seems unlikely. This Pazic has hit for a billion damage. Absolutely a billion damage. Fizzle. Okay, that's really fun. A lot of mana commitment up front, though, already. Does not feel like they're going to have a lot of awesome stuff to do left here, particularly with a counter spell and a freezing trap still active. Are they going to be able to tidy up the rest of this? Yeah, they love value trading these one fours. It just dies. It's just dead. And too full. This is a very interesting decision. <laughs> this is a very interesting decision. <laughs> I, uh... What is happening right now? <laughs> I don't know what is happening. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are they there? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, dude. <laughs> Something wacky going on. He, I have them because... Yeah, wait, why do I have them? How did I end up with the POSIC bot? Was it a copy of my POSIC or anything? No, it was his POSIC, right? He used the, he used the location on it and I got the bots. So both a visual bug and... A mechanics bug too, because I shouldn't have had them. They gave me lethal anyway. It didn't matter for the game outcome, thankfully. 